Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astro Logical segment. I'm going to be talking about transit south node square opposition or in conjunct one's natal Uranus. Now, when you're talking about transits that involve the south node, it can be about what we're going away from, um, the past, uh, what you could be naturally proficient in, uh, overdeveloped, and redundant qualities. And uh, these things, um, at this time, when you have this transit, basically making an adverse aspect to natal Uranus. Now, I'm going to elaborate on it. When I say basically adverse aspect, of course, squares and oppositions, those aspects are adverse and negative in astrology. But uh, the in conjunct, though it's neutral, neutral aspects uh, can um, have good and bad qualities in them, coupled with the fact that an in conjunct aspect can often require an adjustment or a transition. So collectively, basically, I do see this as an adverse transit. Now, the thing is, when you have the transit south node, again, basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal Uranus, it can manifest in what you're going away from, the past, what you're naturally proficient in, uh, overdeveloped and redundant qualities, might uh, conflict with your friendships. If you have the, um, say, the transit south node is in um, Aquarius, you know, maybe there's some you know, idiosyncratic behavior on your part or over rebellious or not conforming unpredictable behavior that might be you know, challenging your friendships at this time or if the transit south node is in Virgo it could be like hypochondriac tendencies if that's still the word that applies or not for that um, you know being afraid you know every little thing you know could be you know getting getting hurt or what have you or you know this is um this is a this situation too if you're trying remember the south node is about you know what we're trying to leave behind so if you're trying to leave behind you know a friendship at this time and you're having this transit well good luck on that because you're talking about again it's basically an adverse transit and you know there's adverse aspects can uh, produce conflict and challenges and this would be no different this could be a, a time where if you're trying to you know put a friendship in the past and maybe it might be somebody that you didn't really see as a friend you might consider it like a usership and if it was somebody you know that was you know you felt was just you know, using you or manipulating you say you know if the, the natal Uranus is in uh, say if it's in Scorpio as an example um, it could be you know somebody that was somebody again that could have been just very you know could have been manipulative um, it could be something to um, you know, when you have this transit okay Uranus is connected also with goals and aspirations and the south node again is what could be connected with what you're got, trying to go away from so if you set some kind of goal or aspiration a lot of people and if you're trying to get out of it or extricate yourself from it it, it could be difficult because what it is is that you, you could have people that are pressuring you to stay with the plan to not to not back out of it at this point in time um, of the transit or you could be dealing with people that were prominent in your past whether it's people from you know it could be your early education childhood friends where it may be such where it may be difficult you know to do to, to follow up on your goals and aspirations they may be causing you know maybe a distraction as far as this goes at this time and anyway now the thing is too the thing um uranus is also connected with groups um, clubs organizations society in general and it can be a time you know, if you're trying to like withdraw if you're trying to retreat from society at this time especially if you've got like a chart that's very introverted like mine for example i mean i got Know, preponderance of planets on the bottom half of the chart I got Saturn in the 12th house I mean I'm you know everything but you know reclusive I'd say this you know but you know it's going to be difficult at this time to do so remember when you have a uh, state in previous videos I'll say this when you have a uh, the transit south node if it's opposing a natal planet as an example, if it's making an opposition to your natal Uranus, in this case, it's going to, you're going to have the North Node conjoin 
the daily Uranus. And that's where, you know, you're talking about in this case, I mean, the North Node and Uranus are both connected with the future. And it's a thing where you may be very well where your mission, where your purpose at this time is being more in society, more with groups, clubs, and organizations. If the natal Uranus is in Sagittarius, say, it could be some club or group connected with sports or religion, philosophy. It could be, you know, exploration. Um, it can be also a time to... I mean, Uranus, anatomically speaking, is connected with the ankles, the shins, the calves, nerves, and circulation. So it can be at this time where if you've been putting off you know, something, what I just stated, that's anatomically connected with Uranus, it could be hard to get away from it. It could be where maybe those problems have exacerbated to a point where you know it's inevitable now or the time is eminent, it's eminent to do something about those issues at this time they might have reached a breaking point um, and remember going back to the fact especially like say if you have this transit in opposition to natal uranus the transit of the north node will be conjunct natal uranus so it's something in the future that has to be confronted and addressed now or that could very well be confronted and addressed though you may have to do that at this time but anyway now uranus is also connected with innovation and ingenuity and if it's something where you know you've been reluctant maybe to you know come out with some innovative or ingenious idea this is the time where you might feel like you know you, you've been putting it off too long it's gonna have to come out it could be too where you're you know you're doing something you know the south node can also reflect you know things that are happening something that could be happening to your detriment and if something is happening that's negatively affecting your life, it could be challenging you bringing out you know, something ingenious. It could be, it could, some cases could be a new idea for uh, some new product that um, you know maybe you've been trying to develop, and you have um, you're having more distractions at this time. There could be, you know, say if the transit south node is in the eighth house, it could be some crisis situation or an insurance matter that has to be taken care of that might be challenging this at this time and Uranus is also associated with things that are unusual or the bizarre and this could be um, something too when you have um, this transit it can be something that you know, if you're dealing with some you know, unusual situation in your life uh, you know say if you have um, you know, this in the um, fourth house maybe there's something with the home and family that's going on there's people running in and out of it and you know, there's something that just unexpected has happened it could be a flooding you know this is where you could be dealing with someone from your past that might even be challenging you trying to deal with something of an unusual nature at this time and uh, Uranus is also connected with disruptions and the thing about this is um, you know, south node again is what you're trying to get away from. If there's some kind of disruptions that you're dealing with, and say you have the natal Uranus in your 12th house, it could simply be the disruptions in your private life and your sleep at this time. And it might be harder to leave this behind. It might be something that you're just, you know, you, you feel like there's no choice but to deal with it. There's always a choice, but it may be difficult to get away from that situation at this time. Uranus is also associated with what's sporadic and erratic. And it might be, you know, situation too. I mean, Uranus can be, you know, again, sporadic. It's connected with what's sporadic, erratic, and intermittent. And you're trying to get away, you know, you wish you could leave so this something that you know, was on and off that you could leave behind. It may be difficult to put that in the past at this time. Um, maybe there's, um, you know, things that you're doing that you feel, you know, at this time of this transit of the seven, that you're naturally adept and naturally proficient in. And it might be causing a distraction to even dealing with something that might be a little bit erratic in your life at this time. So it can make it a tough, um, you know, tough uh, transit. You know, all, especially oppositions and squares can be, uh, you know, can be rough. So anyway, hold on a moment, people.
sorry about that I'm back but anyway now um, another way this transit can manifest let's say um, well someone from the past uh, may adversely affect your goals and aspirations um, let's say for example if the transit south node is in Capricorn in the 11th house it could be a person maybe that you um, had been involved in and, uh, like someone from a business or government which is Capricorn could be a group or an organization which is the 11th house um, it may also be at this time this trends it could be harder to get away from which is the south node it could be group related matters or activities at this time let's say for example if the natal Uranus is in Aquarius and or the 11th house it could be some astrology or astronomy or computer related group club or organization at this time now um, and it could be you know if the south node you know this is something too where something that might you know, affect you to your detriment may challenge your future at this time now let's say if the south node you know is in Aries in the eighth house transit south node in Aries in the eighth house for example it could be perhaps there was something volatile which is Aries in violent um, criminal background which is connected with the eighth house and it could be that you know, maybe there's something you know that happens connected with what I stated that might you know affect the future at this time to the detriment now and also too at this time of this transit what you may feel comfortable doing your comfort zone which is the south node may conflict with your friendships at this time and friendships can be connected with Uranus now let's say for example if the transit south node is in Pisces in the fifth house it could be you know simply Maybe you're, you're happy or you feel comfortable playing some kind of simulator or hypothetical, which is Pisces. It could be sports matchups. Fifth house is connected with sports and games. Um, so anyway, um, you know, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Lerner saying stay well.